is no place I'd rather be, and that's a fact. My name is Udonis Haslam from Miami, and this is my hometown, Crestview Elementary. I was a decent student. Uh, I used to walk home from school every day. I never caught the bus. I used to lose my lunch card all the time. I, uh, I didn't really like basketball that much. I pretty much played football. I had fond memories, a lot of friends. Um, just going to school, being a kid. That's, yeah, that's Win Cherry. That's, uh, that's in the city. We, uh, it's actually been redone now. It looks a lot better now. It didn't look like that when I played there. Uh, they got a big football field there now. Um, but me and my boys, we used to go hang out there. We used to play basketball, we used to play football. Um, but it's a lot, it's, they, they really redid it a lot. It looks a lot better now. Uh, Northwest 50th Street. Uh, my boy stayed on 54. Uh, my grandma stayed on 82nd. And uh, we all used to meet up here. That's uh, Charles Hadley Park. We used to play basketball there. Uh, we used to go swimming. There's a huge community pool there where we used to go swimming. Um, and I remember trying to race my boy, swim the whole pool, and I got to the middle and almost drowned because I got tired. So I had to swim to the, to the side. Oh, that's my grandma street. That's my grandma house right there, too. Uh, I just remember hanging out, playing in front of my grandma house and in the backyard, uh, the West Little River Elementary School is where we used to play basketball on the low basket, and that's when I first learned to dunk. They go West Little River right there. That's the school that's behind my grandmother's house. That's where I played basketball, me and my cousins. And uh, it was like a short basket, and we just used to run around and dunk on it and just have family fun out there. Yeah, that go to baskets right there. Just played basketball out there, had fun. We used to jump my grandmother's fence and go back down and play basketball all the time. Oh, Miami High. That's where I really learned to take basketball serious. Um, at, up to that point, I was just playing football, playing basketball, really didn't know what I wanted to do. And then when I got to Miami High, I really started to take basketball serious and just realized that it could be, it could be an opportunity for me to get an education and, and just you know, better my life. Uh, ranked second in the nation my junior year and I think third in the nation my senior year. We lost one game each year. That's the new gym. Didn't look like that when I played there, but that's the new Miami High gym. Obviously they redid it. Um, so much history in that gym. Uh, so many banners hanging in that gym. Uh, a lot of great players came through that gym, a lot of hard work. Hey, there you go. Yep, 87, 89, 90, 91, 93, 96. I think that's the most state championships in the state of Florida, if, if I'm not mistaken. That's big UD. Uh, that's my homeboy, Seal. That's my boy, Antonio. Uh, we still keep in touch. Uh, that's after we won our third straight state title. Me, my homeboy Seal, Antonio, and Steve Blake. I think that's when we made All Day. Um, it's only five guys, and four of our guys were All Day. I don't know who the other guy was, who cares? But that was the best, that was the best four guys in, in the state probably at that time. Oh man, that's, uh, that's Miami Day. That's where I play all the football games at. Uh, all the great football games there, Miami Northwestern against, you know, Jackson and, just every, every historical football game, all the big games there. Down here, a lot of schools don't have their own stadium, football stadium, so a lot of schools play there. <laughs> That's the flea market right on 79th Street. It's on the other side of 27. That's just right across the street from where I used to catch the bus at and uh, get off and obviously do my shopping and you can get everything in there. Oh, that's the old Miami Arena. They ain't treat me too good in that one. I used to go to games there and I used to sit up and the players used to look like ants. I ain't get much love in that arena. And yeah, that's when I first saw the Heat play. I always had respect for guys like Grant Long and Sherman Douglas and, you know, Ronnie Cycli and obviously, you know, Glenn Rice and those guys. Orange Bowl, that's where we used to work uh, for basketball. We used to raise money. We used to have to go work at the Orange Bowl, uh, walking up and down, selling sodas, popcorn, tater chips, and everything to the fans just to raise money for our basketball team. Obviously, I'm a Miami Hurricane fan. Um, you know, I've just always been a Hurricane fan since I was a kid. And growing up, it was either the Hurricanes or, you know, you were homeless in my household, so everybody rooted for the Hurricanes. Joe Rogers Stadium. Uh, it done changed name 17 times. But when I was growing up, it was called Joe Robbie Stadium. Uh, and when I moved to uh, Carroll City, uh, there was a wall that was right across the street from Joe Robbie Stadium. We used to sit on the wall with binoculars and we can watch the game on that big screen. So I used to get to watch the game live for free. 
This is the beach where the brothers used to go at Hollywood Beach. So I really never went to South Beach until I got in the NBA. <clears throat> Growing up, everybody used to go to Hollywood Beach, and barbecue, uh, jet ski, and do things like that. Thank you for taking time to visit my hometown with me. There is no place I'd rather be.